I got best friends versus proud and powerful in a parking lot brawl. And as Dave noted at the beginning of this review, this was absolutely insane. They're taking bumps on windshields. Trent's back is just sliced like Ricky Stark's back after Darby hit him with a skateboard filled with thumbtacks. He's just bleeding everywhere. There's power he, bombs he, on cars. He he took he took a bump that broke some wind the windshield, so you got all the glass in his back that cut up his back. And his um shoulder and his eye were also cut from various bumps. Um they did insane stuff like like Trent was Trent one the one in the back seat where or whatever, where they, um, no, uh, I mean, it was, I think that maybe it was that Ortiz. Well, they put Santana under the hood of the car and then started doing sentons on him. That, that looked like crazy. it sucked. Yeah. And barricade, suplexes onto a metal barricade, uh, double running power bomb through the front windshield was a spot that cut up, uh, uh, Trent. He's That's just bleeding Trent everywhere. Back messed up, yeah. And finally, Santana's got this lead pipe. And he is just going to bash Chucky's head in. But before he can do it, the trunk flies open and out comes Orange Cassidy. And he runs wild, gives Santana the Superman punch with a chain on his fist. Knocks him out. Chucky gives uh, Santana a pile driver on the hood of a car. And then Trent is on the hood of another car. And he gives Ortiz the crunchy through a piece of wood for the pin. Uh, there was one other spot here. Chuck took a suplex on the top of a car, and the moment he landed, uh, Santana came off another car with a big splash. That was earlier in the match. That was completely insane. But anyway, after the crunchy through the wood, uh, the best friends get the win. Total insane pay per view caliber. Just a crazy street fight. This, this was like was, this. This 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 is this is like a legitimate match of the year candidate. I mean, this match was fantastic for what it was. And it's like, not my cup of tea, but it was, you know, for what they were doing, I could not, I mean, it was one of the best street fights I've ever seen as far as that goes. Because I was, it was, the one it reminded me of, there was a match in, in Houston with Ted DiBiase and Jim Duggan in, this is in the 80s in Houston, in Sam Houston Coliseum, in the famous Tuxedo Street Fight, Coal Miners Glove, whatever. And I mean, that was in a ring and and um um you know tuxedo yeah because they were wearing tuxedos but but it was just like an insane match for its time nine minutes of just ted dibiase just taking incredible bumps and and everything and this is different but it was the same thing in the sense of just all these spots that you would never ever see so this was like um these guys so originally this was supposed to be um Santana and Ortiz against Pentagon and Phoenix, but I believe um, Santana suggested doing it with the best friends, and Jerry Lynn had a lot to do with this match. He was involved with a lot of the ideas, but it was all those guys had ideas. Um, it was essentially it was like Tony Khan's the 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 concept of the match was Tony Khan's idea. the The match itself was a, some Tony Khan and and Jerry Lynn, and then these four guys put it together. But man, I mean it. it it was just fantastic. So then afterwards, the baby phases are celebrating. Trent's mom shows up in her minivan. Sue. Everybody piles inside, and then as she's pulling out, she rolls down the window, and she flips everybody off, and they go crazy, and she drives off into the night. That show was awesome. Oh, yeah. One of the best dynamites that there's been. It was start to finish. Um Yeah. Yeah, you know, and again, that that main event was one of the best matches they've ever had on Dynamite, and and really one of the best matches in the history of the promotion too. Uh, just super. So we had the NXT show, which opened with another great match, which was Io Shirai and Shotzi Blackheart, and I mean, the story of this match, the whole idea behind it was to get Shotzi over, even though she was losing, yeah. and they gave her everything in this match, and. Io is selling, and Shotzi's getting near fall after near fall. They're doing these German suplexes on the apron, high well, they angle. Did, they only did one, but that was that was crazy. Well, there were all like, of these Germans who were high angle. One of them's on the apron, which is just brutal. The one on the apron, though, was was like that was like a high bridging German suplex. That was nuts. So finally, after this German on the apron, Io throws in the ring. Top rope moonsault gets the pin. They shake missed, hands afterwards. She missed the moonsault b bad. That was the problem. Is she was way short, 
and she came down with both of her knees on Blackheart, and I don't, you know, I mean, it was it was not good, but um, you know, uh, but Shotzi Blackheart, I mean, I've never seen Shotzi Blackheart look this good ever, which I, I suppose is a credit to how they laid the match out and a credit to Io Shirai, I'm sure, as well. But, um, you know, this match was, was I mean, I, I can't think of the last time there was a match this good on the main WWE roster with women. I mean, I can't even think of it. When, when, it wouldn't have been this year, would it? I would be surprised if it were this year. Because, I mean... It was better match. It, 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 there, there have been better matches in NXT. The three way, the three way where Io Shirai jumped off the house was a better match. But um, I didn't think Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley, which was, was was the first one that came to mind at WrestleMania. I thought this match was better than that. This match was was so good up until the, the finish. But you know, the finish was one of those. What well, she was, you know, Shotzi was too far out or whatever. But. Um, the, just, just the different stuff that they were doing, and um, yeah, I mean, it was to make Shotzi Blackheart into a star, but um, not give her a win. Um, so, it, I guess it worked. Took hands afterwards. Announcers put over Shotzi huge. They that was a story, and they told the story, and they had a great match to tell the story. So, Shotzi was definitely elevated here. 